Hello, I'm Duncan McGregor from Enphase Energy. I'm the Enphase Technical Product Trainer, and today I'm going to walk you through the Envoy S metered installation and wiring in a multi phase environment. In this example, I have the Envoy S metered and the switch gear installed in a uh, subboard uh, to make the installation uh, process uh, more convenient on site. So the subboard installation allows for additional room for the additional fixtures and hardware required in a multi-phase environment. Now I'll walk you through those connections and I'll start from the left uh, and go across the board. The first connection in the example is the power supply to the Envoy. It's often a, a 10 amp three phase circuit breaker. Each of the um, phases must be wired into the Envoy S metered uh, because it uses uh, the phase connections as voltage reference when running uh, current transformers to the Envoy. The next device is the Legrand phase coupler. Uh, the order code for that is LPC-01. Uh, the phase coupler is the data communications uh, device enabling an AC power line signal to travel across all three phases and that is required when installing an AC battery system and in phase microinverters. The next uh, circuit breaker along is our AC battery circuit and it's worth noting that that AC battery circuit, a three phase circuit, is running independently of the current transformers. So those, that circuit runs directly out to the AC battery and it does not pass through any current transformer. The next circuit is our solar circuit and, and for N phase we recommend 20 amp uh, circuits for your solar each solar circuit you install and in this example we have a, a current transformer around each of the phases and each current transformer has a direction arrow the direction arrow follows the current and this example they're facing down into the circuit breaker and the switchboard it's also worth noting that I have color-coded each of the phases on the CT flying leads and I've also done that at the terminal of the Envoy S metered and that means that I can uh, correctly confirm that I have wired the correct phases into the Envoy S meter. It is, it, it is always important to ensure that your phases are matched up correctly into the Envoy along with the power supply phases. So I have the red phase on the uh, terminal I1 in the Envoy S metered for production CT. I then have white and blue phase wired in here. The white uh, conductor goes to the top row and the blue conductors always go to the bottom row in the terminal block. So the first three connections are for solar production circuit and then the next three connections are for our, our consumption circuit. So, so the three phase for consumption monitoring CTs, uh, we have those labelled here across the phases. They often run out from the subboard and across to the line side of the main switch. Those CT cables can be extended up to around 100 metre distance, uh, which means that it enables you to have a lot of flexibility with your installation uh, of the Envoy S metered. So this is a, a, a nice working example of how you can complete your configuration for an Envoy S metered. Some good tips here to ensure enough room. So this is a 36 pole enclosure, allowing enough space to put the three 100 amp current transformers for solar production within that same board. And notice that we've mounted the Envoy on one level of DIN rail and we've created a nice amount of room to complete uh, our installation.